let's look at the null parameter check improvements in C Sharp 10. Now, for most of my training, I work to give you an in-depth perspective on technology, but sometimes you just need to get the quick answer to the question, how do I use this? That's why I created the 10 minute training series. So let's dive right into the code. Here I have a .NET 6 console application. We'll wipe out all of the standard default stuff. And let's look at what we do for null parameter checks. So let's start off with a string info, actually make it a nullable string info um, by default. And we'll say, we'll start off with null. Okay, so a null info, and then we're gonna create a void say hi method. And in here, what we'll do is we'll take in a parameter, string message. And then we're gonna have a console write line that says, uh, hello, and then our message. Okay, something simple. Um, that's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna say, say hi info. Okay, so we're gonna pass in a null value to our, our method. Now, this will work because with strings, it's gonna say hello and it's gonna have an empty space here. So it, it's not gonna, it's gonna be just empty right there. And there's gonna be nothing. So that will work, but normally what we do is we say, okay, we wanna check to make sure that message is not null. So we'll say something like if message is null, then throw new um, argument exception or argument null exception. And then we pass in name of message like so. And that's how we throw a, a null on message. So if message is null, it's gonna throw this, this error or exception. And we can continue here and see it on the console where it says unhailed exception, system argument null exception, value can be null, the parameter was message. Okay, that's the .NET uh, or C-sharp nine and below method way of doing this. We can do something different here where instead of doing this, now with C-sharp 10, we can say is argument null exception dot throw if null message. Okay, so this one line right here replaces these uh, four lines of code. Okay, and it does the same thing. So now we get the, let's hit continue so we can see it. We get the unhail exception, system argument null exception, value cannot be null, and the parameter was message. So we know what parameter it was, we know the, it's an argument exception, and the, it's null, and we know which one it is, it's message. So this is the improvement to the, uh, the null checks for our, our methods. Now this is really helpful, especially for things like uh, our API, where we don't know what's being passed in. Normally you wouldn't be kind of force feeding a null value for a string, but, um, but there are times when you need to do these null checks. This makes those null checks much, much quicker. We have one line per. So now if we have three parameters, we'd have three lines instead of uh, 12 lines of code, okay? And it's very quick and easy to do. So that is the new null parameter check improvements in C Sharp 10. Uh, is this something you're gonna use? Have you done something different for this or what are your thoughts on this new change in C Sharp 10? There's even more improvements coming in C Sharp 11, which is way down the road, that's next year. Um, but this right now I think is a quick way to improve our null checks. And yes, you should be doing null checks on your parameters if they can't be null. All right, so let me know down, down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you want the source code for today's video, then use the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, I am Tim Corey.